to people like Barack Obama, Angela Merkel, David Cameron, and the feckless establishment that has landed us in the mess that we are currently in. Ladies and gentlemen, Breitbart London was the first English language news outlet to cover what happened in Cologne. The things that the media simply do not want to tell you about what's going on across Britain, across Europe, across the Anglosphere. The BBC shows you pictures of children every day to instill this guilt in you that they must all come over here, come one, come all. Because aren't we just terrible people if we don't look at these children and go, oh, well, you know what, take it all. But the fact of the matter is they aren't all children. In fact, there are barely any children in this migrant onslaught that we've seen over the last year. So I'm here to please ask you, do not believe what you are told by the BBC, by Sky, by The Telegraph. They are lying to you. And I don't know where you all stand on this issue, but I have, a, I have a fair guess about it. There's a referendum coming up in this country. You've got to be careful. They're going to, they're going to clip that and say you're chanting it at me. <laughs> we have a referendum coming up in this country. And ladies and gentlemen, they are going to lie to you again and again and again and again telling you that we are safer inside the European Union, this European Union that is taking millions of people in who we don't know who they are. But what we do know is that the homicide rate in Germany will rise by 10% this year. What we do know is that the Cologne rapes happened, the Paris attacks happened, Brussels happened. We know that the European Union makes us less safe. So spread the word. This is time to get Britain out. And let's just talk about Brussels for a moment. Because when the Paris attacks happened, you saw, we all saw, those pictures of the candles and the teddy bears and the t-shirts and people saying, never again. And then it happened again. Because no lessons are being learned. Because our leaders have absolutely no interest in protecting the British identity, the British culture, European identities, European cultures. And when I say European, I do not mean people sitting at desks in Brussels claiming to be citizens of the world. I mean those wonderful cultures we see all across Europe, which are being squelched right now. So, again, when you look at these things that are going on, and sadly, that ain't going to be the last one. And when it happens again, we all need to stand together and say, you know what? No more teddy bears. This is time for action. This is time to do something. This is time to have proper immigration controls, to have proper policing, and to not let ha happen in this country what has happened in Germany and Sweden, where they suppress the real information about what's going on in our towns and cities. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming out. I expect that the next one you're all going to bring five people with you and grow this movement. And thank you to Tommy and to Lutz and to all of the guys who are taking a stand. This is clearly just the beginning. Thank you.